Hastings is our town, you know it well. From the welcome sign to the high school bell. You say you know it well, that's not quite true. Cause we take a hike, Mike, I'll prove it to you. There's lesser known businesses and some you've heard of more. But it doesn't bother me cause I just love to explore. Interviewing owners and lending a hand. I love to assist for as long as they can stand. Where will I go next? I really can't say. Here's a little warning cause it might be your way. No matter where I go, one thing is true. With Take a Hike, Mike, it's entertainment for you. Take a hike, Mike, I'm burning up the quarter mile. That's right, it's time once again for Take a Hike, Mike. I'm Mike Bramer, and today I'm at Carlson's Auto. I'll be chatting with the owner, Steve Pavelka. He'll be teaching me everything I auto know about the car business. Then, the brakes come off as Steve and I tackle some good old car care and maintenance. Do I have what it takes to change the oil and grease this baby up? Or do I just drive Steve crazy? W what's this? Take a hike? Already? Give me a break. Let's hike inside and get started. Come on. Well, hello, Steve. Hello. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you, too. Tell me a little bit about Carl Sonato. Well, I've been here for 26 years, and I've owned it for about 13 now. So how many employees work here at Carl Sonato? Uh, four, including myself. OK, OK. How did you get your start in the car business? My dad worked on cars in a garage when I was probably about 10 and I would help them and it just started from there. So you weren't inspired by playing with Hot Wheels cars? Well, I played with Hot Wheels cars when I was way younger, but I think working, you know, maybe it was younger than that. I played with electricity and stuff and made little electric motors with switches and got shocked. And, <laughs> oh wow, you got you shocked know? actually. Yeah. Hopefully that doesn't happen too much anymore now that you're working with this big, no. fancy, dangerous equipment. <laughs> We've been shocked by cars like the spark plug wires are 20,000 volts. Oh wow. Which, yeah, when you get close in a bad plug wire and you touch, you get, it, you get zapped pretty good. Wow. Yeah. Is there any chance that I might get shocked today? No, but we could make it happen. Oh, if you okay. Want to. Wow. <laughs> My most shocking episode yet, viewers. <laughs> Tell me the story about Carlson out of the name, where that came from. It was about 26 years ago, Bob Carlson started the company or called me and said, Do you think we could make an auto repair shop go in town? And I said, Yeah, I'm sure we could. And we started out where Hastings Chrysler Building is. We were in the back of that. When I bought it, I worked hard to make the Carlson name good, mm -hmm. and I just kept it. In the video game Mario Kart, if my cart hits a banana peel, my car spins around like crazy. Does that happen in real life? You ever hit a banana peel? No, never have. OK, what would happen, do you think? Because you know more about tires than I do. My knowledge comes from video games and movies. Uh, I, it might slip just a little bit. OK. You know. So I'll continue avoiding those banana peels out on the freeway. <laughs> so what are the different services that Carlson Auto offers? We do tires, brakes, drivability, suspension work, 4 by 4 work, tune-ups, maintenance, transmission services. We even put in rebuilt engines, rebuilt transmission, wow. differentials. Pretty much any part of the car, Sure, we do it. Do you have a dream car? Like a 68 Mustang. Ooh. You know. My dream car is the Model T. So oh. I'm old school, and I like wind-up yeah. toys. Yeah. You have to, you have to crank it. <laughs> do you teach other people about cars at all? Yeah. Uh, the first Monday of every month, I teach an explorer group. It's like the police explorers, except it's the automotive explorers. And high school kids, I get them from Cottage Grove, uh, all around. And I'm the only automotive explorer group in the state of Minnesota. It's fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What's one of the weirder um, car problems you've encountered when somebody comes in with a car needing repaired? Like, have you ever had a potato in the tailpipe? No potato in the tailpipe. What would happen uh, if somebody did put a potato? Because you see in the old cartoons, somebody puts a potato in the tailpipe, and they turn it on and the car explodes. Would it explode or what would happen? No, if it was in there enough, it, could, it would lose a ton of power. You oh, wouldn't have okay. any power. The engine wouldn't rev up to go anywhere. It could idle around is about it. Okay. And that, and 
So it won't shoot out like a rocket launcher or anything like no, that? No, no, okay. uh, uh So I should probably stop putting potatoes in uh, tailpipes then. <laughs> well, it might help my business, you know, yeah. do it. Oh, yeah, yeah. okay. <laughs> Let's go around after yeah. this. That'll be part of the hike today, getting a bushel of potatoes and putting them in tailpipes. <laughs> <laughs> so I think we're going to take a quick commercial break. But when we come back on Take a Hike Mike, Steve is going to get me uh, down and dirty with the cars, get some grease flying all over the place, and uh, teach me a thing or two. So stay right there. Kids are constantly approaching me saying, Tom, is it scary to be inside of a fire? And I tell them, yeah, it is scary. It's dark, it's smoky, it's a lot of things. But it's not as scary as doing emergency work on the side of the road. It's one of the most dangerous places for a firefighter or any emergency responder to be, along with the guys that are actually doing the construction out in the roads. There's a lot of distractions, so remember, whether you see an emergency vehicle out on the side of the road or guys out there trying to make your street safer, let's work together, let's slow down, let's give them a break, and keep everybody safe this summer. This message has been brought to you by your friends at the Hastings Fire Department and your friends at Hastings Cable Television. Welcome back to Take a Hike, Mike. Today I'm at Carlson Auto with Steve Pavelka, the owner. So, Well, you'll have to put something on, suit up a little bit. Oh, what do we have here? On. Is this an official uniform here for Carlson Auto? Yep. Oh, nice work. Shape. Well, it says Steve on it, though. My name is Mike. It'll work. Oh, it'll work. All right. All right. Well, I'll suit up here, and then uh, let's get dirty. <laughs> Look, ready, Steve? Look at that. Good work. He's all suited Do up. Do I look like a typical employee here? Close. <laughs> Close enough. Once you get a little grease under your okay. fingernails. All right, all right. We'll grab a work order here. Oh, work order, okay. Grab the one. We're going to do an oil change and then just check it over. Okay. That's what we do when we get them in for an oil change. Give them a good inspection and okay. come over and cool. lift her up. And all right, here we go. Oil change, step one. And you push the button there Ooh. and it goes up. Green button, okay. Yeah. All right. You can just push it the takes button. a little while, yep. All right, here we go. It goes up real slow. Oh, good. I've got all day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It sounds powerful, even. Well, it, I was, it lifts up semis. It's 27,000 wow. pound lift, so wow. it can lift anything. Wow, that's crazy. Maybe we should stack as much as we can on here and see if we can reach the weight limit. You could put eight cars on here. Eight cars? Wow. Do you have eight cars around here we can stack? Uh, no. I suppose that won't fit. Okay. <laughs> well, I heard a crash. Was that us? That's the well, safety... Oh, okay. The safety locks are latching oh, okay. as we're going up. Has it ever fallen at all? Never. No. Okay, good. I like the sound of that. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever got tired from pushing the buttons so I had to have uh, somebody come stand in and take over the button pushing? Never. Yeah. No? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Is it supposed to be dripping that fluid? When we run it in, it's leaking liquid right on the bottom of the muffler. Oh, okay. And from just getting cold to hot, it's condensation. Yeah, okay. So it's not acid or anything? No, no. <laughs> okay. Push this in, and it'll drop down onto the safety catches. Push this thing in? Yep. Push it straight down. Oh, okay. So what do I do first here, Steve? Well, I'll grab you a wrench, and we'll start draining the oil. A monkey wrench? <laughs> <laughs> no, we use a real wrench. <laughs> I'll be doing enough monkeying around without a monkey wrench anyway. <laughs> and that'll go right okay. up there. And then just crank her off? Yep, crank right. her off. And I'll go grab an oil filter wrench for you. Sounds good, Steve. Once you get it fairly loose, we'll lift that up so it don't splatter all over the place. But that'd be fun and exciting though, wouldn't it? <laughs> Should've brought my poncho. <laughs> Is this oil gonna be scalding hot? It'll be warm, but not scalding hot. Okay. Oh, here it comes. Oh, there we go. Check that out, viewers. We struck oil. Yeah. We're rich. Yeah. <laughs> so then when I have it on my fingers, I wipe it on my shirt? No. No. Okay. We use rags. <laughs> we use rags, okay. <laughs> I thought mechanics were supposed to get down and dirty. And before the end of the day, there will be grease on my face. Mark my words, viewers. <laughs> Oh. Going the wrong way, that's loosening. Oh. Just flip it over. Oh, like this? Nope. Oh, look. That one will, it oh. ratchets one way and... Oh, wrong way. Still wrong way. Right. Yeah. <laughs> There's only so many ways I can spin this. Yeah. <laughs> There's only two. There you go. I've been stumped by the wrench. <laughs> Just the sound of this, it sounds like I'm working hard. Yeah. Because <laughs> it sounds like, yeah, like ratchet work. Yeah. What famous 1970s sitcom cool dude worked as an auto mechanic? If 
Fonzie. Yes, Arthur Fonzarelli. You got yeah. it right away. Yeah. Are you a big fan of uh, Happy Days? I used to watch it all the time. Wow. Yeah. Do you have a black leather coat like the Fonz? No. Okay. We'll have to get him one of those. <laughs> I'll hold you to that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe not. <laughs> All right, so it looks like I got a grease gun here. So yep. you're, gonna, you're gonna get me a light then while I play with this? Yep. Or inspect it, I mean. Inspect it. <laughs> what what yep. do you have here? I have a light. A lightsaber? No, it's close though. It's oh. cordless. Let me see this. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite what you had in mind, huh? No, no. no. Okay, I'll, I'll give the lightsaber or light back right. to you. Okay. We're gonna grease all these fittings up here. Okay. Usually you wipe the end of it off so you're not pumping dirt oh, yeah, into a bad. part. <laughs> and you can push the end of that right, right up on there. Push hard, it'll snap, yeah, and then you here, squeeze here. that. Okay. And you put about three pumps in there. There's one. One. It's a good hand workout. <laughs> you must have pretty buff hands working here. <laughs> <laughs> one, two, three. I'm gonna see if I can get on that one. Oh, you're gonna try it one more time? It's weird because there's that that thing in the way. Oh, the bar right on. Yeah, top. that bar. Should we take that bar out? No. Get a blowtorch on that bad boy. <laughs> you you <laughs> want to use that, don't you? <laughs> the other employees are laughing now. <laughs> so how am I doing so far? Am I proving myself worthy of a Carl Sonato employee? Well, I usually only hire knowledgeable that already know how to work on them. I. So you're saying, yes, you would take me? No. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that one's pretty good here. Yep, that should be full. You know, I'm getting lots of yeah. grease on my hands, you know. I think the lady's like a guy that works with cars and gets good and uh, greased up well, a bit. We, we have a dress code here. Oh, you, you have to look presentable. Doesn't this look cool, though? Won't this get the chicks? No, no, no. Oh, okay. You have to look presentable when you talk to customers. Okay, so. all right, Steve. <laughs> So what's the most difficult thing to, to change? Like oh. what's the thing when somebody calls and you're like, oh, all right, I'll do it. <laughs> some water pumps on some cars, like yeah. Chrysler Sebring with a V6 can take eight hours to do oh, a water really? pump. really? Yeah. Holy cow. Yeah, when we heard you were coming, they said, let's get a Sebring and have them do a water pump. <laughs> yeah. be here for like a year. <laughs> if somebody brought in an electric car or a solar powered car, would you know how to do maintenance on it? The solar powered, probably not, mm -hmm. uh, but we work on the hybrids like the Priuses okay. and that, and we go to school for it all the time. Oh, interesting. So. What's new with cars? What's coming out? Well, the newest thing is uh, all electric car, like the Chevy Volt. Mm -hmm. So say you're on an eight hour road trip and then you run out of power, can you have like extra batteries that you can like pop in like double A's or? No. No, okay. No. <laughs> so then you're, you're, you're pretty much in trouble then. You're done, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're, you're footing it or thumbing it. Yeah, you're, you're uh, Fred Flintstone in it uh, from here on out. <laughs> now it's time to get even more dirty because we're going to change the oil filter. So what do we do first here, Steve? Well. We have to bring the drain pan back in. And drain it's pan, okay. Hiding way up on top of the differ front differential up there. Okay, so should I spin that off? Yep. Boy, you're a little short. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we can set it down so. Oh, no, I got it. You might need to use Do the wrench. Do you have wrench. a booster chair, maybe? Oh, the wrench. You might that'll, need to use that wrench. That'll increase my height. Oh, wow. Tight, She's tough. Huh? She's a tough one. Yeah. Good thing I'm strong. We gotta oh. grab the drain pan. Drain pan. Oh, that's. And you should be able to take it off by hand. Okay. Is you this want a little booster thing? A little, yeah. If I could have a little booster chair, that might be quite helpful. Usually when I go to restaurants, my mom gets one, so it's quite similar. <laughs> I suppose I shouldn't like step up and smash my head into this. No. But you're probably carefully. Oh yeah, that's nice. All right. All right, here we go. So is this gonna squirt all over? It's gonna run out. Is it moving? Um, I'm gonna say no. <laughs> <laughs> you want the wrench again? Yeah, I'm gonna need the wrench. Is this upside down? Oh yeah. I should go like that. Let me see. Is this how I want it? Nope. You want oh, the that, other, other way. way around. Okay. Oh, there we go. It moved. I thought it was moving pretty easy. Yeah, for you maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Whoa. There. We, whoop. Right. Good thing my face wasn't under there anymore. <laughs> and then you always check and make sure that the little rubber gasket for the oil filter is uh, not up there. Not up there? Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna f oh, it is up there. Oh, good thing you yep. said that. Look at that. Because yep. if it gets double O-ringed, yeah. it'll 
fly off down the road and leak the oil and ruin the engine. Oh, that'd be bad. Yeah. If you like it, then you should have put a ring on it. <laughs> Beyonce. <laughs> I'll grab you an oil filter and you Sounds can screw good, that Steve. on there. I'll just uh, supervise the area here, make sure she's dripping. And she's dripping. <laughs> New filter. This is, this is you right grab size. a little one of these drips that are dripping. Yep. Put it on your finger and rub it around on the gasket. All right. Try to catch a drip. They're going all over. Okay, so yeah. <laughs> no. All right. Just rub her down good. Yep. Rub it right around there. Yeah. What would happen if you didn't do this? It wouldn't make a good seal. It would make it stick. Yeah. Oh, that'd be bad. Hard to come off next oh, time. Oh yeah. Maybe that's what happened this time. Maybe that's why I couldn't get it. Maybe there wasn't a proper. <laughs> He's like, no, or you're just weak. To say, or it's been a long time since it's been off. Yeah. All right, should I screw this bad boy then? Yep. All right, Steve, so the car is now back down on the floor level. We got to grab the grease gun. All right. Grease the ball joints that we couldn't reach from the bottom. Okay. I thought we were going to have to get a tall ladder before, but it makes a lot more sense to just lower the vehicle, I guess, huh? Yep. <laughs> yep. It's like a Perfect. workout aerobics here. <laughs> Perfect. The hood up, and we'll get some oil. And... It's like he's got me on a leash. <laughs> so, Steve, this is your wife's car, then? It's her old car. Her old car, OK. Yeah. Do you think she'll be OK with me working on it? Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, it still turns on when we're done with it. <laughs> I'll hang that up. And you can open the hood. All right. There should be a safety catch right about there. All right. Should be no problem here. Open up the old hood. Did you? Is there like yeah. a button? Uh, it's up on top. Oh. So should I like push it up? Push it up. Oh. Yep. 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 Okay. Reach in. Push up. <laughs> I don't think I've. Oh. It's. Oh wow, okay. It looks so easy when you have it up. Try it. Alright, let me okay. Alright, let me try it again. Let's see if I can do it this time. Oh, there we go. I'm learning. <laughs> and this won't yep. fall in my head now? Nope. Okay. Nope. <laughs> Wham. Uh, your washer fluid. You oh, can sure. open that. I'll grab Step. you a jug and you can fill that up. Sounds good. Looks like blue Kool-Aid. Probably doesn't it's... taste like blue Kool-Aid though. No, there there is alcohol in there because it is a de-icer. We're gonna have a like party in the then. Winter time, <laughs> yeah, you, you'd get sick if you drank okay. any of that. Wrong kind yep. of alcohol. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll go back to our oil on that side. We'll grab. There's an oil jug over there, and we'll okay. be able to dump oil right in there. Push oh, okay. The, so there's actually a nozzle here. Yep. This just pushes. Oh, okay. And and you can push that till it gets right to the bottom right. and that'll okay. be five quarts and that's how many it holds. Cool. So you have like these big vats up above us, right? Yep. Okay. Yeah, each one of these hold about 60 gallons, so you have about 360 gallons of fluid wow. above you. So you don't have a soda pop dispenser in any of these? Nope. Nope. Okay. <laughs> nice jug of oil here, or tin of oil. This is like the tin man um, uses this so he can keep talking and moving. Yep. Is this a flexible, oh wow, yep. okay. Yep. You just gotta be careful now. Oh yeah. You have to almost one hand it and you're holding a gallon oh, okay. on the one hand here. What does this button do? Do I need this button at all? That you push that to let the oil run through the can. Oh, now you okay. can push it down. Okay. And this will go down. Oh neat. While we're waiting for the oil to fill up, Steve, talk about some of the other parts of the car. Okay, of course. Here's the engine. This is a Chevrolet 350. Uh, that's in pretty much all of the full-size Suburbans and that. You get into the three-quarter ton, they have a 454. This thing got a Hemi? No, <laughs> no, only Chrysler's have Hemis. Okay. <laughs> Is there such thing as turbo boost or nitro boost? Yep. I'm, my diesel truck that I have has a turbo. Has a turbo, wow, yeah, yeah. cool. So is it like a red button you push and then no, no, flames it just, come out of the back? No, no. Okay. It just, it, it increases the horsepower. It uses the exhaust. Okay. And when the exhaust goes through, it spins a propeller and it pushes the air in. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's great for street races and stuff around Hastings. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Steve, you're an expert on cars. So go ahead and name these famous cars. Name this famous car. Batmobile? That is correct. How about... Uh, this Herbie the Love Bug. Herbie the Love Bug. Great Disney movie. One of my favorites. How about this one? 
Ghostbusters. Okay, do you know the official name of the car? No. It is the Ecto-1. Oh. How about this one here? Uh, the General Lee. General Lee, you a big Dukes of Hazard fan? Yep. How about this bad boy here? Chitty Chitty Bang yes, Bang. Yes, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. You got them all, <laughs> Steve. You truly know all of your famous cars. You have to pull the sticker out of the windshield. Okay, is it okay that my hands are really dirty? Mm, yeah, as long as you don't <laughs> try as long not as to I don't touch, touch it. Yeah. Okay. You can pick the... <laughs> oh, okay, that sticker there. Yeah, yeah just pick just the corner. Just kind of peel it off, okay. Yeah. I'm good at picking things. And then this sticker, do you keep this or can I use it as a souvenir? You can keep that for a souvenir. All right. And then do you want me to sign my autograph? No. Take a hike, Mike approved. There you go. I bet that sound gets annoying after a while when you work in these cars. It does. <laughs> Start it up and oh. just let it run for about three seconds. Three seconds. Shut it off and we'll double check the oil under the hood. Okay. Do you want me to rev the engine at all? No. No, okay. No. <laughs> all right, I will right, we'll start her up. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. Yep. Better off. Yeah. Now, if we did everything right, this should... Uh, should be full. It should be full. Yep. Okay. <laughs> and pull the... Oh, the dipstick? Yep. A lot of my viewers call me dipstick. <laughs> <laughs> and it should be able to read it. Oh, looks like it's good. Good. I passed. <laughs> looks yep. like we did it. Then you can shut the hood. Shut the hood. You gotta so slam it harder. Oh, whoops, slam it harder. Okay. <laughs> kind of embarrassing here. Oh, it's this, wait. <laughs> Where'd it go? <laughs> oh, there, wow. I heard something, oh, there, okay. You let it go too quick. All right, I'm gonna slam a little bit harder this time. Yep. Here we go. Perfect. That's how we do it, Steve. Yep. <laughs> so, Steve, how do Hastings residents get a hold of you? Do you have a website? Yep, we do. It's carlsonautotruck.com, mm -hmm. and our phone number is 651-437-2543, and either me or Rick will answer the phone. Okay. Or Mike will answer the phone. <laughs> nah. <laughs> All right, Steve, I also have this gift for you. Carlson Auto Truck was featured on Take a Hike Mike, signed Mike Bramer. It's your hike ticket. Cool. Thank you. So you're welcome to display that if you would like. I will. I'll hang it on the wall. Oh, cool. Well, I think it's time for you to take a hike, Mike. Well, sounds good. All right. Well, is it okay if I maybe uh, take this bad boy for a spin? You can take it for a little whip around the block and then bring it back. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> I'll get the door. Okay. There you go. My angle is off, Steve. I can't okay. get, there's you like a weird get... thingy in the way. Okay. Yeah, it's called a camera move. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think a little grease on my arm is okay. It might kind of add to oh, that. Oh yeah, that, that's fine. That's Cause face. that was there. Don't even worry about your face. Get the face clean. Yeah. The only problem with my show is my face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The potato fell out.